पृथ्वीराज स्मार्टफोन्स डोंट मेक यू स्मार्ट स्मार्टफोन्स डोंट मेक यू स्मार्ट पृथ्वीराज थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी इज द नंबर ऑफ लाइफ दट बीन किल ऑन द रोड बिकॉज दे वर यूज इन स्मार्ट फोन वेन दे वर ड्राइविंग In 2017, this number was 1,400, and today the number has doubled. Why? Because they were using smartphone when they were driving. Let me share an incident that happened in New Delhi. There was an old man of 40 years old. He was driving the car. He was going in 40 km per hour, and he was checking his phone while he was driving. And he did not notice there was a little child on the road, playing on the roadside, and he. Ran over the child. Now imagine what kind of impact this would have created for their parents when they get to know that this child was killed by someone who did not pay attention to the road and he was checking his smartphone. Imagine if you are a parent and if you had a child and you get to know that your child was killed something like this. What kind of a situation you would be put into, or what kind of thought process will go into your mind that you will have sleepless nights. It will haunt you forever that you let your kid play outside. I'd like to share an incident or a research that was done in Yale University, U.S. They say smartphones causes brain cancer. They have research for about two lakhs of smartphone users, and they have confirmed that smartphone leads to brain cancer, not just brain cancer. It will cause retinal infection. The blue rays that's coming out of a smartphone will cause retinal infection. If you don't believe me, go check in any random school in Bangalore. Step into any school and see how many children are wearing spectacles. And go to a village and check out how many people are wearing spectacles. You would see zero. Now, not just retinal infection, not just brain cancer, it can also lead to damage in your DNA. The electromagnetic waves that is coming out of your smartphone through 4G will cause damage in your DNA. And by damaging your DNA. What happens is you are leaving that damaged DNA to the next generation, and we are going to see in 30, 40 years, kids with damaged DNA. And what's more saddening and scary fact, it will degrade your cognitive sense. With that, we will not be able to think as we were able to do it today. The human being has evolved from hunter gatherer in the forest millions of years ago. He moved to Homo sapiens, and he was able to develop civilization or uh, democracy. He was able to do all this because he was able to think effectively and cooperate effectively. And this will not happen in the future. Why? Because smartphones degrades our cognitive sense. Uh, if you see, technology has always been a supportive system for human beings from the cycles that we have made through the uh, trees in the past till electricity until this little monster called smartphone. And this will degrade our entire society. Now, let me ask you: How many of you here do not have a smartphone? No one. If somebody was there, we will ask: Are you from the past? Now, let me ask you one more question. I'm sure your phone knows more than you. Would you agree with me? Yes. They know what type of food you use, what type of uh, uh, person do you like, the Tinder apps or any dating apps knows what kind of a person you would fall in love with. They knows every single thing about you. Even if you Google something in the internet, you search something in the internet, the Google is searching something inside you. They are searching for data inside you. Every single time you go on the internet and you buy something for free, remember, you are the product. Now I know you may be wondering. I know all this. What are you trying to say? We all know all this. So I have a small suggestion called S E M, SEM. I would like you to try SEM. I'm not asking you to throw your smartphone right away. That's not going to happen. That's not even practical. I'd like you to try SEM. S E M. S stands for sleeping. How many of you put your smartphone in your bedroom? Raise your hand. Most of us would do. Your brain actually requires 40 to 60 minutes before it, it rests before it goes to sleep or the REM cycle which is happening. But if you keep your smartphone right next to your uh, bedroom or where you sleep. Your brain automatically connects through a wireless connection already, and you, the moment you wake up, your hand reaches out to your smartphone without you doing uh, consciously. It will happen unconsciously. So the first suggestion is to keep your smartphone at least ten feet away when you sleep. Next suggestion is E when you eat. 
I stay in a PG where I see people eating together. They eat in this hand and they check the feed in this hand. They check for notification every single moment. What happens is you don't secrete the most valuable enzyme, saliva. If you don't focus on your food, forget about the saliva. You're not thankful for the food that is in front of you, the person who's cooked the food for you, or the person who went into the field, spent four or five months in the field and protected the corpse like his own baby, and he gave his corpse for you to eat, and you're not thankful for that. So second suggestion is to not use your phone when you are eating. Third is meeting. When you meet someone, I've seen most of the meeting, we see someone and say, hi, how are you? And the moment you get a notification, you take your smartphone and right in front of their face and you check for the notification. And your social connection is gone right there. So this is all I request you to do. Try seven. Sleeping, eating, and meeting. Think about it. Smartphone doesn't make you smart. Thank you. Once again, good morning to all the Toastmasters and uh, Toastmaster Prithviraj in particular. Where is he? Yes, <laughs> very much. Toastmasters, I believe that uh, what you do off the stage is much more important than what you do on the stage. Am I right in saying this? Yes. If I turn up one random Sunday and try to be confident on the stage, I may fail it. I may not be able to do it. But if I practice thrice a week, prepare and present thrice a week and then come to the stage and then attempt to be a confident person I may still be not so successful at the attempt but I will definitely be confident Am I right? Yes. Yes. yes, that is what is helping Toastmaster pretty large He is a successful YouTuber He presents, prepares and presents three times a week and that is ensuring his uh, better impact on the stage Very happy to see that there is definitely clear growth in what he was previously and in what he is today. So good job on that. Coming to today's attempt, today's attempt, three A's which I would like to highlight. First one is attention grabbing skills. In the very beginning, Toastmaster Prithviraj had this uh, very startling statement. He said 3,516 deaths. But that is what ensured that you got the attention of the audience. Stage is elevated, you stand here, audience is there, there is some sort of limelight. In spite of that, there are people who are not able to grab attention. But what you did on the stage, the tone which you had ensured that you got attention. The body language was very purposeful. Only when it mattered, you brought about body language, hand movements on the stage. Made complete sense. You were beautifully able to connect with the audience from the very first second to the last possible second. Audience were there with you. The second A which I would like to highlight is as simple as being attractive. You are best dressed for the event. So that is something which added the value to the presence on the stage. Third A, which is very, very, very important, especially if the project required that particular thing, is authority. <coughs> the authority you establish on the stage by bringing about a very good tone, supported by a very good voice. So only when you establish authority on the stage, audience will be able to better receive the message which you are trying to convey. So that was beautifully done. And the project objectives required to persuade audience. You persuaded audience by this fear approach, fear based approach. If you don't uh, dump your phone, I think you will get this damaged DNA, that anecdote which you had, the lead three year old being run over, all those uh, things work really well. I was persuaded to follow that SEM. And if I have to suggest things that can be improved down the line to ensure that uh, you create better impact on the stage. First one is the tone which you had was in a way disturbed when there were a couple of moments in the audience. <coughs> and you let the audience go with the flow by reducing the tone. It has to be strong so that you get the attention back of the audience. That was only for about 5 seconds. But for that I didn't find anything. I really had to nitpick uh, things that can be improved upon. Very good attempt with those master people. So for uh, Toastmaster, I think one big round of applause for Toastmaster uh, Prithviraj and Siddhish. <laughs> for Toastmaster Prithviraj, I have very, one very small piece of feedback. I think you said 3.3516 was a number. I'm not sure where that number had come from. 
or the source of that number. I think in most of the members, wherever you're sharing stats with us, I think we want to, to give out a reference as to where that number has come from okay. so that uh, it's substantiated. So that was the only piece of feedback. I think otherwise, overall, I'm very good uh, glad with your speech, very informative speech. And we'll have some learning that we'll take back from this particular speech. But those masters in this, I think I'm sure everybody knows he always gives very comprehensive feedback. So there is nothing that I can add. I think there's only one word I would say correct is uh, there is a difference in terms of improving and improvising. Improvising is trying to adapt, improve is move to the next level. So wherever you are, you just want to make a little adjustment, it is improvisation. And improve is take it to the next level. I think that's what all of you have been doing. You have been taking your speeches to the next level. Okay. That's